I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago. When we were both young. Not because I don't like it because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this for it kept me thinking of you all these years and I hope by returning it to you I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Okay, my girl. Mrs. Adler? You okay? Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw a calm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Look, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Tell you what, I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail, 
Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape. When I... You know, you and me, we're more ghosts than people. But them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Come on. Fine morning for a killing. <laughs> hey. You seen anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. But one of them is a fat fellow with a beard. Him? He's mine. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off, and then we'll... we'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So, no real plan, then? Oh, I got a plan. Now, come on. Wait. She's from Dutch's gang.
Shady! He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. <laughs> Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, girl. Been a while.
like a pretty nice horse you got there. I paid top dollar for this beauty. Fast as a bullet. <laughs> Want to see how yours compares? I'll race you to Diablo Ridge, all right? Uh, I reckon I'll pass. I knew it. A coward can't bear to face the better racer. Sir? What's the matter with you? <laughs> no, Brother Brodus, you're simply not a gentleman. You're a scoundrel. And quite frankly, talking like that in front of a lady. It's exactly what I think. Welcome back. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Would you like any assistance? Sure. Sounds good. Good. Now don't you worry about a thing. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? So, how's it going with you? Good, good. Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. Goodbye now. Uh, 
know the girls from the saloon stop through here. Oh, I remember you. Lost a bit of weight there, it looks like. You should get yourself over to Smithfield for a hot meal. Mister? Nice day, ain't it? God's own country, this is. Hello, sir. The people in this town. I had a pair of them in here at the bar telling me they go around just Sorry, looking in Mr. people's Hall. windows. Getting a... Here, get that down, you. Oh, hey there, friend. You don't look so good. Oh, stays down. O'Connor was in again. Don't feel right to serve him. Wait for Thanks. since you've been back, hasn't he? What can I do for you? Be careful with the pages. Fine piece. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. Smile on your face, guaranteed. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Yep, this is the one. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Good, good. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. And that should be good. Thank you. Really. Why don't you just stow that gun, huh? I don't see a reason. Oh, bro.
Come up top, Hill. 